Hello, welcome or welcome back to Life on the Fringe, uh, or Life on the Fringe as it is this month. Speaking of, we're going to be recreating Paris. Uh, we bought this puzzle, and um, I know our other puzzle video was not very popular, but I'll link it here. Um, so I thought, you know, we should do another one. <laughs> uh, but this one, okay, so the last one we did was like a 50-piece puzzle. Thanksgiving. Yeah, statement. it was like for the states, the, like the United States. Um, so I guess we're on theme in terms of it's a location. Uh, but this is a 3D puzzle um, that says it's going to take between 150 and 180 minutes. And much like I think the cooking episodes go, I think that's just not going to be the amount of time that it takes us because I suck at puzzling. <laughs> There's two of us, though. Combined efforts. We'll cut that time in yeah, half. You, you helped with the other one. and we So we were going to do two puzzles for that other video, and we literally gave up about an hour into the second one, and we didn't even have a frame. Is this a puzzle, though, or is this like uh, like a Lego set? It's like, do they have instructions for it? 3D puzzle of Perry. Okay. It looks like there's moderate assembly steps. Yeah. So it's, it's not going to be like... A puzzle is hard because you're shooting in the dark. This is going to have instructions for us, so it shouldn't be too bad. So let's crack into this. Okay, we'll cut the back because the front of the box is nice. Nicer quality than the Dollar Tree puzzles, just based on the box. <laughs> well, that's not intimidating. Okay. It's got a little light in there. What is this? Hole, hole puncher? I don't know. Uh, we're, we're screwed. Anyhow, it says there's no gluing required. Uh, it's a five-star complexity. So, I don't know if that's out of ten or if that's out of five. <laughs> um, we'll see. And uh, no tools. Minus, I guess, opening the box. And us. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. The simplest pressing is the button. And no tools required. I 
I feel like this screw is required to remove, be removed. Don't you? I don't know. You want to break the rules, you break the rules. Do they have instructions for how to put in the battery? Ah, I freaking knew it. You need a screwdriver. Okay, so it's the next day, um, it got very late, and uh, now we're here. So we're gonna try to finish this up today. So this is day two of working on this project, but uh, so far, especially like the Notre Dame part, looks really nice. So I'm excited. We just gotta keep on trucking <laughs> until this is done. So let's dive in. Let's go. Senor, senor, car avec les soldats. We lay toreros, have us on tundra. For plaisir, for plaisir is all they come back. Le cirque est plein ce jour de fête. Le cirque est plein d'automates. Le spectateur est dans la tête. Set on the man, 
This feels like the final boss. Like this one is the most challenging of them. The fold? Yeah. It's like tiny pieces and it's getting more complicated. Okay, wolves wise, it's gotten easier. Yeah. Yeah. The My Eiffel final Tower boss was the Eiffel it. Tower. <laughs> That looks crazy. Can they see your hands? This is a lot. I'll film the next one because there's two of these. People, people, boss, French bosses. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty cool. I'm very impressed with like the amount of detail that this has. Yeah. Um, especially like you can see here the layered look, like having two fronts so that the door goes in. Yeah, that's neat. Um, these have glass windows, some of them. Um, the arc has like an interior. You, you can look through it both ways. That's like the real arc, the true arc. It's, I'm very impressed. I came in with no expectations and I love the level of detail mm -hmm. and the thought that they put into making it. Mm -hmm. And it's just as cool from like the back, which I know is how you guys have been seeing it. Um, but. I was worried about it, that we were kind of doing it like backwards to you, but I'm looking at it from this side, and this side is also cool. So, yeah. it's, it's very like high quality detail 360. The only sour point I have are the lights. I don't like putting them in and then uh, trying to secure them. But uh, I think it's fine without them. I think it actually is really cool the way it is, but we'll turn on the lights and show that off too. Yeah, and the other thing that I didn't like was um, it said that you didn't need any tools, but that wasn't true for the lights. Like, you needed batteries, you needed tape, screwdriver, and you needed a screwdriver. Right. Uh, like, you could have done all this. Like, if you didn't care about the lights, like, the puzzle part itself, you did not need any tools for except for what they provided. Yeah. Um, but for the lights, you did need tools. So I'm wondering if that's how they got away with the, like, no tools language, but other than that, like, I am pleasantly surprised by how nice this is and, like, it's secure. Yeah. yeah, it's sturdy, the puzzle pieces. Even though you've seen the back, I'll turn it around, now that's all complete. Vibrant colors, too. 
-hmm. That's the back. And now the lights. And this is how it looks with the lights. I'm very happy with this. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, you know, Dom has a little light coming up on the top. Mm -hmm. This with the windows, I think, looks really nice. The pyramid, yeah. And the Eiffel pyramid. Tower too, with the lights in the four corners. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great deal. Like, and we spent a lot of time on it, but it all felt very productive. Yeah, you weren't like struggling. Like, the thing I don't like about puzzle puzzles, although this is called a three D puzzle, is that you're just kind of like grasping in the dark. I mean, there are techniques, but you're pretty much grasping in the dark. This, I mean, it had, like, instructions. Right. Um, so if you're into, like, this type of, like, soothing type of task, it, it definitely was, like, satisfying to make. Um, and hopefully, just as satisfying to watch. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of our content, uh, click subscribe to Life on the French, uh, even though this month we are focusing on Life on the French. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!